also a primate keeper here at Utah Sogo Zoo. And today we are talking about uh, the family tree of our gorilla troop, as well as the SSP that we're involved with. So Hannah, can you tell us a little bit about the SSP and what we do uh, as part of it? Yeah, sure. So uh, SSP stands for Species Survival Plan. Uh, basically, the way I've heard it described before is kind of like online dating for animals. Um, we know the genetic backgrounds for all of these guys. Um, we know their family tree back to their grandparents and their great-grandparents in some cases. Um, and it's really important for us to know their genetic history because we want to make sure that any offspring that they have are going to be healthy and uh, just kind of the best of the bunch. So we know all of the genetic information for these guys. We know who their parents and great-grandparents are, like we've said. Um, and by having that information, uh, the SSP coordination will give us a breeding recommendation. So they know who is related to who, uh, and so they will tell different facilities that are part of the AZA um, which individuals can breed with who, because we want to have offspring that are uh, really healthy, and also we don't want to have too many of the same genes expressed over and over again. We want to have a nice uh, mix of genes in the pool that we pull from. Uh, and it's really important for us to track that kind of stuff because we want to have a healthy population for as long as we can. And that's not only here at Focal Zoo, but also uh, across the country in all a AZA facilities. So with Jabali having her first offspring, it's her first time being a mother, her baby will also be added into that pool someday. How does the SSP know who to match with who? How do, how do we know that Kusani and Jabali are the perfect match? So they would know that because not only do they have all the genetic information for these guys, but all gorillas in all facilities. So they can look back at the bloodlines for every single gorilla and find out which ones are the least related and they can kind of decide from there uh, who's going to be a good match and who's going to be able to have a uh, good offspring. So knowing Husani's heritage back to his parents, great grandparents, and same with Jabali, they can see that, all right, your family lines are pretty distinct. Uh, you're not closely related, so therefore the offspring are going to be healthy. So every year the SSP decides a, on a set amount of uh, gorilla offspring that will keep the population healthy and viable and keep it rolling. Uh, and so they will tell us how many babies they want across all AZA facilities, and then they will decide who matches from there. Uh, so. Before that, we don't want any breeding going on or any um, pregnancies. We don't want any pregnancies going on uh, without getting that recommendation from the SSP. So until we get a recommendation, uh, our girls are actually on birth control. Uh, Jabali takes a birth control pill. We would put it into a slice of banana to give it to her and she would just eat the whole thing. Uh, but obviously now she's not on birth control anymore. Kusani's mom is from the Bronx and her name is Patty Cake. She's actually pretty famous from that part of the world. So it's kind of interesting going through and trying to figure out, you know, who's going to be breeding with who and uh, who's going to be having which babies because you really do get to figure out where do these guys come from. You get to kind of take a closer look and you find out some pretty cool stuff. Bali, her parents, one is here at Hobel Zoo. Joe is her mother. And Jabali is her is Joe's sixth offspring. So Jabali doesn't have any experience with uh, having baby gorillas around and growing up around her. So we're really excited since this is her first pregnancy to see how she does as a mom. Uh, and we're pretty confident that she'll be doing a good job, but we'll be here to help her out if she needs it. Well, the good thing about having Joe uh, jo here as Jabali's mom is she can also kind of help along the way um, if for some reason uh, Jabali being a first time mom um, is missing something, Joe can step in and be like, well, I've done this before, I can kind of help out here. So it's good that uh, we have both mom and possible grandma here. Just like at home, sometimes you need help.